Hi, I'm Michael Kwan for Beyond the Rhetoric. Today I will be unboxing the new LG G4 Vigor Android smartphone. It's available through Saskatel, Videotron and Virgin Mobile here in Canada. And the idea is it's a, a mid-range variation on LG's flagship G4 smartphone. So it's supposed to be uh, quite a bit more affordable. It's about 300 and something off contract and as low as free on a two-year contract with Virgin Mobile. You can look at some of the specs underneath here. Uh, it has a 5.2 inch Full HD 1080p display, 8 megapixel camera on the back, 5 megapixel camera on the front, uh, and with laser autofocus for that camera, which is a signature of what LG has been doing lately. Uh, I believe it's a Snapdragon 615 processor under the hood with one and a half gigs of RAM. So. It's not going to be the fastest, fastest performer out there, but uh, in terms of a, a mid-range phone, it should be able to take care of a lot of things that you need, and especially if you can get it for free on contract, that's not such a bad thing. Let's open it up here. So here's the G4 Vigor itself. Uh, as you can see on the back here, there's kind of a, a diamond design uh, with the pattern here. I think this one they're calling it, what do they call it? Uh, Titan Silver is uh, the color that they call this, but I believe it comes in at least a couple of other colors. And it does feel very lightweight. Uh, it definitely doesn't have the kind of heavy feel that you find with phones that have a, a metal build. So it's, it's definitely a, a lighter weight uh, kind of phone. Um, Kind of general first impressions, it's a pretty standard size. Uh, it has the 5.2 inch screen, so if you're using, used to any of these kind of phones that are roughly in this size, uh, you'll feel right at home here. It does feel a little bit bigger than the Nexus 5 that I've been using as my daily driver, but that gives you a sense of kind of how it fits in the hand. And you can see that it kind of follows a lot of the same design that you find on the G4, but in a more affordable kind of package. So it has the rounded back there, the camera there, and uh, with how, how OG has been doing things, there's the power button here as well as the volume up and down. But because it is an LG, you can do the, uh, the knock code on the screen to be able to wake the phone instead of having to use the power button. But that's entirely up to you. Put that there. Let's see what else is in here. You get a uh, quick start guide. Nothing too exciting there, and chances are you probably don't need to use this. Uh, better off looking for an online user manual if you need anything more specific. Pretty standard uh, micro USB charging cable there. There is your USB wall adapter for charging. It's the USB spinning at the end of that instead of coming on one of the sides. And here is the 2300 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. Uh, a departure from uh, some a lot of the other phones are the direction that a lot of other phones are going now with the sealed in back and the sealed in battery especially from the other major Korean cell phone companies so it's, it's nice to see that you can still get at the battery here in case you ever do want to switch out for something else uh, or uh, for your spare the other thing that I, I wanted to note is that there's only eight gigabytes of internal memory here and you have to realize that a good amount of that's going to be taken up by Android itself so you will need to take advantage of the micro SD slot, which I imagine uh, would be right here. Yeah, so that's where you put the, the micro SD card for your expansion. And then the SIM card slot. Oh, I see, they actually go, both go into kind of the same general area that you might, you might be able to make out the, the writing there. It says micro SD, and then it says micro SIM. So they kind of both, one kind of goes one above the other. And uh, I guess that makes for a more 
streamlined or convenient uh, design. Let me just put the battery in there. The back is, uh, the plastic back has more stiffness to it than uh, a lot of the really thin flexible backs that you can find on a lot of other um, cell phones with removable backs. So that's not you know, bad, I'd say, but it, it, it's something that I noticed right away. So with the battery in there, it still feels not that heavy actually. So uh, you could probably attribute that to the, the mostly plastic build, but there's like a decent phone here. Let me see if there's enough battery in here for me to turn it on. There you go, LG, life's good. Power my Android, here's our friend Andy. It's going through some of the initial stuff because it says optimizing the app. So I'm not gonna make you sit through that. So the full written review posted up on megatechnews.com soon. Uh, thanks for watching and make sure you like and comment on the video to let me know what you think and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Chief figure.